you know, 13th gen Intel processors are now, um, or the vPro platform is now featured on the 13th uh, gen. Uh, you know, for those that aren't all that familiar with what the vPro uh, platform is, you know, it's basically they're, they're integrated, it's a validated platform from Intel. And its purpose is really all about uh, uh, keep creating a more stable, more manageable, and more secure um, device while maintaining extraordinarily high performance. That's the way Intel really positions it. Um, this generation and what the company has come out with really focuses mo uh, largely on security. And a lot of what it's talking about is that, you know, with hybrid work, with more end users out and about, with people not constantly on company networks and having visibility within IT departments, the attack surface continues to grow. So in the 13th gen, the company is, is really focusing on reducing that attack surface. And the company's come out and said, in this new 13th generation with vPro, they're able to reduce it by 70%. And this is covered from uh, one of our analysts, Mike Diamond, did a research note on it coming out. So I'm kind of just highlighting some of it. Um, this thing is segmented. So Pat, as you and I talk a lot about when we, we do some of our advising with them, there is a vPro Enterprise now and a vPro Essentials. So there are some different segmentations, meaning not all of the vPros are exactly the same, which is something I think a lot of us kind of are like, this gets hard. When Intel has a million SKUs, you know, i3, i5, i7, i9, vPro, vPro Essential, vPro Pro. V -Pro. So this is something I definitely like to see the company working on. But I think what vPro really does stand for is, hey, these are the key capabilities that a device should have when it's run by an enterprise with sensitive data on devices that need to be protected. Um, the big uh, thing that this uh, period too was that the company included anti-theft technologies on the essentials level, which is more focused on the SMB um, and adding threat detection capability for that particular audience. So now vPro, even at the essential and SMB level, is getting that additional layer, hardened layer of security to reduce theft of data from these devices. Uh, Pat, uh, you know, Intel had a great week a couple of weeks back, uh, especially on the data center. The company continues to advance. The market is looking to see it not only continue to kind of add features, but as the company that still has the leading market share of PCs, being able to deliver safe, secure, hardened, lower threat uh, surfaces for its massive deployments at enterprise clients is critical. So. These updates are what I would call sort of tactical, sort of uh, in incremental, but they're important for Intel and Intel's customers. Yeah, Intel not only has the dominant market share in PC processors, but they have an even higher market share when it comes to enterprise, exactly. enterprise managed uh, platforms. And oh, by the way, the profitability of this vPro line is a lot higher than the standard uh, core core line, all, all things equal. So this announcement was not only about uh, expanding the TAM, uh, it was trying to get, you know, incenting and giving uh, enterprises an incentive to refresh, right? Because if you look out there uh, and you have laptops that are four to five uh, years old, they, they may not, well, they aren't as secure as, as, as this new generation based on some of the technologies that, that Intel has put, uh, put in here. Uh, but also the company was making a play that said, your workers can be more productive based on what they did. And one thing I really appreciate about this, and I've been a little bit critical of Intel on uh, prior vPro announcements is, hey, g give me some numbers of, you know, tell, tell, me, tell me what, tell me how much more I, I am secure. Right. And, you know, Intel is a very risk averse company. They have a lot to lose when it comes to making claims. They don't want to be sued uh, for making claims that they can't go up against. But they came out with some really hardcore uh, numbers, you know, 93 percent efficacy detecting the top ransomware where attacks 24 percent better than the software alone. That's essentially means Windows 11 on AMD. Right. Uh, 26 percent less breaches, twenty one percent fewer impactful security events, seventy percent decrease in attack surface, and I I love that stuff. I have been complaining about that for forever, and Intel absolutely uh, delivered. The other thing I appreciated was that they came out with again some real numbers and real claims about about why refresh, and they came out with a 
hey, you might re refresh, but it's it's going to give you a 14% lower five-year cost of operations for PC, right? And, and listen, I know I, I was in marketing forever and product management. I know that not everybody takes these claims to the bank, but what it does is it, it uh, elicits and transfers confidence uh, uh, to me of that, that Intel is absolutely confident in, in what it's doing. I don't see in this latest wave of PCs, the competition doing anything that unseats Intel with, uh, with vPro. Maybe we'll see something uh, in the in the future, uh, maybe uh, maybe we won't from from AMD and 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 Qualcomm aligning itself with uh, with Windows and some of the special uh, security features that uh, that Microsoft is working on. So, uh, congratulations, Intel. Keep the ball rolling. You, you know, when something has a double digit generational thing, something's going right. And, and I think this is, this was a, a really good uh, foot forward.